and Lady Streets. Little is known about the early years of Christmas Addicts. He was born a slave around 1723, probably in Massachusetts. His father, Prince Younger, was an African, and his mother, Nancy Addicts, a member of the Natick Indians. In 1750, Crispus was a slave of William Brown of Framingham. Crispus Addicts was living in Boston during the time of March 5, 1770. Crispus was made aware of an altercation between the Bostonians and the occupying British soldiers. He went to Dock Square to investigate where he picked up a stick and shouted to the crowd who had gathered there to follow him to King Street. When they arrived at King Street, Addicts went to the front of the crowd and struck at one of the British soldiers. The soldiers fired back at Addicts, hitting him with two musket balls. Four other men were killed and six others wounded. The next day, Addicts' body was taken to Faneuil Hall. And two days later, all the businesses were closed for his and the others' funerals. The funeral was attended by the largest crowd known to have assembled in North America. Addicts was buried in the old Gannery burial ground. This traumatic event was known as the Boston Massacre. Born February 23, 1868 in Great Barrington, Massachusetts to Haitian father and French mother, W.E.B. Du Bois was an American sociologist and the most important black protest leader in the United States during the first half of the 20th century. In 1895, Du Bois became the first African American to earn a Ph.D. from Harvard University. Du Bois shared in the creation of the NWACP in 1909. The Bois was the most influential in his pioneering of the Pan-Africanism, the belief that all people of African descent had common interests and should work together in the struggle for their freedom. As the editor of The Crisis, he encouraged the development of black literature and art and urged his readers to see beauty in black. Du Bois' black nationalism is seen in his belief that black should develop a separate group economy of producers and consumers cooperatives as a weapon for fighting economics, discrimination, and black poverty. This document became especially important during the economic catastrophe of the 1930s and precipitated an ideological struggle within the NAACP.